Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee's coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. 
Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. Do you have any idea what Moo Moo's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Moo Moo always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Moo Moo is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle, and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Moo Moo to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Moo Moo. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them unless you imagine that they're a car or, or a plane or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Moo Moo, you've got five chairs in the garden and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. <laughs> Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita, you cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right, then. But it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. <laughs> I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out! Look, Milo, you were right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense, with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant, and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting. We could stay here and watch, and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends? When they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Mumu! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible! Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Mumu, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born! Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now! Everybody quiet! 
I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Ah, uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful! Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we can play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're going to go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible. But there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs>